Oh, here we go. This is interesting. I've never seen actually the point layout on Abyssal before. <laughs> There's that three uh, in the middle. Very symmetrical. And then one on each side. I think that Perfectly balanced as uh, all things should be. There's nothing else Let's there. See we... Let's see if we can guess what, um... God, there's so what? many ships. <laughs> Let's see if we can, get, we can guess what Blacklight's battleship is just from the name alone. Uh, which ones are Blacklight's? RMN. Um, I'm gonna guess the five high. I'm gonna guess the early form. Oh, that's another good option. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the uh, cruiser group, I think, going with it. Or possibly destroyers. But yeah, I'll be betting that the early form is the battleship. Anyone want to take bets on whether this is actually going to make it to a point victory? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Was... No, I don't think so. I think this is going to be over well right. before the points get captured. So. Yeah, Abyssal matches are somewhat cursed. Uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. Abyssal was added only because you guys asked for it. I never intended for there to be yes. an open space map. <laughs> I'm well aware, and I just and I just had to include it somewhere. I just had to include it somewhere, honestly. I like this mechanic, honestly, with shit with fleets like meeting and passing. Otherwise, they could just go right yeah, past yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we are. So it's blue, blue, or it's blue, orange. Am I? Bug? Separatists are orange. Wait, hold on. Can other people see what's going on on my screen? Yes, right that's a uh, known issue. Oh, okay. The velocity vectors will smooth out over time. It interpolates them, or sorry, it extrapolates them, uh, and I don't mm. have control over that right now. Then I'll stay in all of you. Okay, so from the uh Okay, hold on, which one was the battleship? I don't think there is a battleship. I don't see that oh, icon. What? What? Back out? Blacklight Okay, Blacklight bamboozled all of us then. Um I, I guess Blacklight he just brought really all of his good. escorts. I guess Blacklight just brought all of his escorts and just didn't bother with the battleship, so that's what? One Corvette, two Corvette, one frig. I'm looking at the uh, destroyers to so see if any of them brought beam destroyers. It'd be a bad idea, but it'd be kind of funny. Two abyssal beam destroyers? <laughs> One light cruiser and all this. Oh, oh. Alright, um, switch to screen for a second. People, I just gotta check something. Yeah, it looks like it's all railgun destroyers. Uh, yeah, I just checked, and Blacklight's fleet is legal. Oops, all destroyers. And frigates. With, uh, one light cruiser total. I wonder what Carson's doing with the light cruiser. Maybe he just didn't have enough destroyers. Um, it's a... From, I've checked from the private channels. Some guns. He, he said he's gonna drive in the center and just chill on the central point. I don't think he has enough point defense to do that, but, you know... You do you, man. Hey, that's just what happens with the hull inventories. You get weird things like this. This is significantly less hard, like min-maxed than I expected from the missile. There's the battle music. Oh, missile launch, missile launch, missile launch. The owl. From the, from the seventh owl. Missile launch at the tall pacer. Which is now evading. It ha It's a spyglass corvette with absolutely zero anything on it, so it's probably gonna die. Oh, more missiles heading to the tall from to the base cup. Similar situation, <laughs> like literally mirrored situations here. Oh, these spotters are done for. He called that. These are what thunderheads? Yeah, they're thunderheads. yeah. <laughs> Boom, is done. That one's done. Kill. Oh, oh, oh! Corvette jousting. Corvette jousting tactics. It's the base cup. Took it on the drive. The base cup took it on the drive, and it's still alive. They both did. <laughs> oh, did they? The other one? Oh, I no, the other one was down. Fine. Never mind. Okay, more missiles going. Oh, I think I saw some rails. Players. Yeah, there are some rails going there as well. All right, we got shaft. No, repost going out. Uh, repost looks like going the out. Loco knock is firing gales at possibly the bait belt. 
Yeah, it's higher than the belt. Ezra's destroyers down here sustained one missile hit, but were other but otherwise undamaged. Actually, great. That just call two. It eight. Two missile hits, not bad. Oh, well, that is a massive missile dump. To avoid and is firing reposts. That is a massive missile dump. I'm liking and all the reposts we're seeing today. I'm seeing a lot of reposts today. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think they have a worse reputation than they actually are, or you know. Than they deserve. Yeah. That Real guns on the belt. Quite a lot of missiles being fired at the belt, though. Holy crap. It's like a long and string. Beautiful yeah. shots. Beautiful gonna, shots. Gonna dodge? Oh, taking railgun fire as well now. Ah, uh, might dodge. Might dodge, actually. I mean, the top ones have not acquired. Are we going for anything else? No. I mean... Mm. No, I think, they, I think some of these might acquire. Oh, yeah, some these of the acquire. last, like, three, four, five. Oh, where'd that come what? from? Are they not acquiring? Wait. They're gales. They're gales, and the illumination was screwed up. The illumination was screwed up on the gales. They're not. No, they are tracking. They are They're tracking. tracking now. Oh, that's one hit. Looks like there's more missiles coming in as well. And some missiles heading out towards uh, the trim fire, I think. Which is utilizing a defender to defend itself. He's definitely actively rolling that. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Nice. Nicely done. Well, not enough. Right, which oh, which way? Yeah. The Ooh, trim fire at the very... bottom just died. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, our, our... Yep, these are... Oh, these are hurricanes. Oh, hurricane dump. On the belt. Oof. Hurricane dump on the belt. At the early the form, is I think. It up. Belt is probably gonna die. Almost certainly, yeah. If not, it's definitely cored out. I don't think it managed to get all of its thunderheads off either. Oof, that is serious damage. The fun thing with hurricanes is that they don't miss. Yep, and are not affected by chaff. Well, there's a lot of points he just dumped thing, there, though. I mean, true, if you true. kill the ship, it's kind of worth it. The enemy secured zone box Very interesting development in the missile match on the top of the map, with lots of missiles flying in various oh, yeah. directions. And defenders. Uh, lots of thunderheads. Got lots of thunderheads. Oh, the early Oh, that's a lot of thunderheads firing at, uh, I don't know, the bear. Yep, the bear is pro might might die. I mean, it's already getting railgunned. I don't know. This seems like a bit of an overkill, honestly. Oh, the bear yeah, this seems like missile dumping before, before it dies. dies. <laughs> I always love to see that. Looks like he might actually. This seems like a massively large amount of overkill, but all right. Oh, I think he's firing missiles at the five high anyway. Oh, more yep, thunderheads. Yeah, it's just already the... dead. Yep. Oh, at least one of them tracked. Yep, that's hits. The crossing missile oh, yeah, swarm is geez. completely gone. Well, they dodged one, sort of. Two. They yeah, dodged, dodged two one. And many failed to what acquire. The heck? Okay. That is very impressive. Very impressive. Very impressive, Carson. Looks like the belt is still technically alive, so it might come back later. Maybe. I think the Trim Fire was the first ship to die that actually had life pots, lifeboats. Does this have any? Oh yeah, it does have some reposts. Or... Oh no! Nope. So much for belt coming back. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's totally done. Some missiles heading for the destroyers up top. Let's see what sort of defenses they have. None. Okay. Yeah, they're. They got no. They got chaff. They've got either chaff or reposts. But the repost may be empty. I don't know. Well, and it looks like they may know it acquired. It acquired. Are they out? They keep, did they get fired at earlier? I don't remember. Maybe. Or I wasn't I'm looking. Not sure. Oh, that looks like they're smelling blood in the water. Some missiles, yeah. They're smelling Big blood spread. in the water with these unpointed things. Much more disciplined about missile use than. The others are. 
Wow, that is a spread. Wow. Huh. How did, how did he do that, actually? Uh, he used the sphere widget. He uh, that's what? Me. I've flipped the order for the next patch, by the way, as requested. Appreciate it. Well, I don't know. What's something I miss? These destroys my dodge, I think. Oh, the five hide blew up as well. Oh, so I see. Looks like a couple of them might hit. Maybe like the middle one or two. Oh yeah, one of them's tracking. Oh, one acquire, one acquire, one acquire. Yep. Looks like the fuse is he... safe. Does he not have point defenses on these things? They it's have a, a VLS, VLS twenty-three. 23. They have VLS 23, but I don't guess it's not loaded or it already fired everything? All of its repose? I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it looks like the destroyer up top might be trying to flee. Not entirely sure. Nobody's getting a dominating victory from this, I don't think. Oh, no, no. Lots of stuff killed on both sides here. Yeah. The Loco Nach might be the next. Oh yeah, and it's done. Loco Mach's dead. Looks like the Idle Retro might be taking a salvo. Idle Retro is just a VLS frigate. And it managed to get off a single Thunderhead before it died. What the I'm Thunderhead frig? These Thunderhead frigates with one, one chaff, are su or repost launcher, are superior to the Gales with one Illuminator. Gale frigates with one Illuminator. Uh, technically, they would be superior in terms of actual combat power, but they're also more expensive. Let's see where this Thunderhead goes. Maybe it'll see the bear. Lord of Thorn could be entirely defeated by about a single laser, which I don't think either side brought. Sorry, yeah, say that again, a single what? A uh, laser. Belt I know there were lasers, lasers on, on the belt. Yeah, the yeah, belt had lasers on it, but that dumb. Nah. Um, looks like Carson is winning on points. Um, He's driving him back. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think... Making the I metal, think, basically. I think Carson's also winning on how many ships he has left. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> well, realistically, like, what? We got three destroyers versus three destroyers. Uh, no, there's four destroyers. Another... Seven oh, damn, there's a whole entire pack. Seven destroyers versus four destroyers. Four destroyers. But it looks like uh, Carson won the spotter. Gonna... Yeah. Carson Spotter has missiles and spotters left, I think. Or at least a few spotters. Our game one and these destroyers do not have point defense. Oh, it looks like the base cuffers might be taking another know. few shots. Railgun fire on the Ark and Axe. I see. No that target lock. lock though. Like Blacklight's out of missiles, so he's just throwing the frigates at the points, which is not going to go well yeah, for the uh, for the pet stamp right now. Yeah, if the match had developed like it had for me, I probably would have left by now. They can't do that though. They're fighting to the death. They are properly pinned in. Yeah, I wonder if a uh, battleship with lots of point defense would have done better here. Like, I feel like they've got the railgun advantage, but they just can't use it because they're get, yeah, getting I uh, think a missiles. Yeah, I think would have been a better choice here. Also, um, the spotters, though. Their spotters got killed right out of the gate, which probably really gimped them in the missile. And, oh, and the railgun. Yeah, you see, the railguns can't fire because the spotters are gone. No spotters, no anything. Well, it looked like they tried to use their spotters to grab points immediately out of the gate, which was probably not a good idea to throw them away like that. I oh, mean, yeah. Mm. Depends on what your opponent brings. It could be situationally useful depending on what your opponent has, but... Yeah, but if, if, you're using, gun... if you're using a railgun fleet, your spotters are your lifeline, and using them to capture points is uh, putting at great risk for no reward. 
What I'm not yeah. seeing, it's happening, but I'm not seeing it, is jamming. Did we see any jammers? We can't see jamming as spectators. No, but do we see it on the ships, jammers on the ships? I don't think any, any so far. Yeah, I don't think... I've not seen are... any so far. The, uh, the um... Oh, it looks it's like Black Knight's been entirely eliminated. Yeah, it looks like it's just Destroyers or uh, Blue Team at this point. And they're intermittently taking small salvos of Thunderheads. And these destroyers are all very minimalistic and don't have jamming. Or bullseyes. They might have parallax, but they don't have bullseyes. I just saw one missile miss the worst and leech. That was beautiful. Fly past it and hit the fused safe. Yeah, I think this match is effectively over except for mopping up. Yeah, it really is Carson's match to lose at this point. I don't think they can lose it at this point. Oh, some hurricanes going out. Looks like to the Ark and Axe. I'm amazed that the Loyalist fleet didn't have more point defenses. They knew that this was going to be laser. on a missile, where missiles... They really needed one laser on one of their ships to make this an entirely different fight. They didn't bring a single one. I believe it was Blacklight's call to go wide on rails. Yeah, but you can still bring point defenses. Yes. Yeah, they went that wasn't very coordinated. Wide, huh? they went either, very either that, wide wasn't, rails. Either that uh, was a miscommunication or a misjudgment. Yeah, uh, if you'll notice, all seven of these destroyers are owned by the same player, uh, which means they went very wide on rails. Less than 430 points per destroyer. Which is essentially just the railgun and some ammunition. They did bring VLS uh, 24s, which at the same cost, they may have been able to fit a laser. Uh, for... A full VLS, a full size 2 VLS is equivalent to it. It's like one point cheaper than an Aurora. It's four points cheaper than yeah. an Aurora, and also doesn't consume nearly as much power. Um, I would honestly say that it's slightly more effective at killing missiles, but it just has so little magazine depth that it's situationally useful. I feel like it's something that you have to go all in on if you want to use reposts in place of auroras. Oh, there goes one of the destroyers. In this situation, the lasers would have been better than the aurora. Just in this particular case, uh, lasers better than reposts. It looks like I I'd, I'd say lasers are generally better for most uses. They're just more expensive, right? In power and points, so they're not that much can points match points for at least a little bit. Yeah. If you need like top tier point defense on a gunship, then yeah, I think reposts are better than auroras, especially if you don't have that much power to play with. But you do have to be, like, on top of turning them off if they're not going to be useful. Because they will shoot things that are completely not threats. Yeah, well, hopefully the point defense settings I have in the next patch will fix that. Yeah, yeah. Looks like the Ark and Axe and DNP Remy are booking it for the map edge. Maybe. 
It's not gonna happen. That's strange because a retreat is just death at this point with the way that they're encircled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the strategic map, they're dead if they lose a match, so there's no point of withdrawing. What you should be doing is pushing. Yeah. Like at this point, you have nothing to lose, and if you lose your spotters with your railguns, you can't yeah. fire them unless you just get close. But I mean, obviously, they're gonna do less damage. Is that a known bug? Echo not being highlighted the appropriate color. Uh, it is. I have not been able to reproduce it effectively enough to uh, be able to debug it. Um, on my screen, Echo is the correct color. I think it's like not host. I think it's only the. Uh... Yeah, only the clients seem to have it wrong. Wow, this destroyer is blackened and charred. <laughs> Indeed it is. So we're getting fired on without any target locks. Which I find mildly funny. I don't think any of many of their spotters survived either. Oh, one of these frigates does have a uh, comms jammer on it. And it looks like the bullseye... No, that's a blanket. Bullseye is looking at nothing right now on the storm. Said, um, whoever said we should bet on whether it goes to a points victory or not, I think you might be in for a bit of a surprise. Uh, wow, I think, uh, well, I think you're right. One of the destroyers did actually leave the map. Yeah, they're actually leaving the map. Yeah, well, this one up here can't get anywhere unless, and unless they recognize that uh, the Separatist team recognizes that this is not actually dead yet, then nope, it's going to remain here. Dead. And it looks like they might have fired missiles at the station. Yeah, they did fire missiles at the stationary one. All the other ones are leaving the map. Oh, that might be that might be it then. No points victory, just normal victory. And correct me if I'm wrong, but winning Wait, either squalls. way. Wait, they're squalls, gonna and they're gonna hit. <laughs> and it's dead. So it is. And that's the last remaining alive destroyer off the map. Quite oh, devastating. That is a brutal victory. Do the honestly. Alliance players, sorry, do the Alliance players even know that they're dead if they escape? Yeah, they it? know. Yeah, okay. yeah, they've been made aware. They've been made aware. So I guess they're just morale killed at this point. Which I wouldn't blame them for being um, with, well, I don't know the I way mean, my rules in terms of this situation. Just lost a battleship without being able to use it, so that's got to be pretty demoralizing. Oh yeah, what happened in the earlier match? I wasn't around, unfortunately. It was lots of missiles and railguns killing um, all of Zacco's ships, and then Gamma survived without losing a single one by withdrawing. Oh. <laughs> So did the North or South win that one? The previous one? South. South. South Separatists. And the South is going to win this one as well? Yeah, South has won every battle e. so far. E. It's pretty bad. Um, e, it's pretty bad. It is pretty bad for morale. It's pretty bad for legitimacy of the conquest. It's pretty bad for anyone wanting to do a conquest in the future. It's all just kind of sh crap right now. Um, I don't think it's bad for legitimacy of the conquest. I think that it's a. I think that the South team might have been a little stacked. Well, I mean, I, honestly, that's the thing. I, I guess I just misread everyone because I tried to stack North team against initially Kim, but then, yeah. but then Kim was swapped out for another player, I'm like, oh no, I, it, it, it's north-sided now, but then north just lost every match. So. If you're going to do this again, you should pick team captains before, and you should have them do a, a, a gym line style picking of players. 
Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea. Yeah, the problem with randomizing the teams, like, randomizing the teams works fine for community night or fight night, 